Good morning, parents, family members, and friends who are attending in person and online, as well as a special welcome to all our learners. On behalf of the staff of Helderberg Primary School, I would like to welcome you to our annual diploma ceremony. Today is a highlight in the learner's academic year as we celebrate the academic successes of our learners and focus on the unique strengths of each one of them. We believe that every learner has positive attributes and we therefore publicly acknowledge these attributes at this function. Many of the larger schools only acknowledge the learners who are the top achievers in a school. We, however, feel that each and every learner should be acknowledged. I came across two quotes recently, and I would like to share them with you this morning. When I approach a child, he or she inspires me, in me, two sentiments, tenderness for what he or she is, and respect for, for what he or she may become. And that is by Louis Pasteur. The second quote is by Herbert Hoover, the 31st president of the United States, who said, children are our most valuable resource. At this time, to avoid any distractions, please ensure that your cell phones are switched off or on silent mode. We would also appreciate it if you would refrain from getting up to take photos as we are streaming this program. Should young children in attendance become unsettled during the program, please attend to them in the entrance foyer of the church. Thank you so much for being considerate of our learners as we focus on them today. And it is so lovely to see so many parents, grandparents and other family members here. We hope you enjoy our program. And there is a school on the mountainside fair. Children may enter with confidence there. Hearts there are happy and eyes without cloud. This is a school of which we are so proud. We learn to read and to think and to serve another's good name. We seek to preserve Helderberg Primary. We sing your praise. Helderberg Primary, we sing your praise. Helderberg Primary, we sing your praise. We will be true to you all of our days. Daar is a squall on the foot van die berg. 
Weet jy wat hy van sy leerlinge ver, reinheid van hart en oprechtheid van gees, dit is een school om op trots te kan wees. Hier leer ons lees, leer ons dink, leer ons dien, en altyd die goeie in ander te sien. Helde Berglaar School, lof bring ons jou. Helde Berglaar School, lof bring ons jou. Helde Berglaar School, lof bring ons jou. Jy help ons om vir die toekomst te bou. Good morning, everyone. This morning's devotion will focus on forget-me-nots. When my darling daddy's dementia worsened, I joined the support group at his frail care home. Soon after this, suggestions for the naming of a new planned wing that would better serve the unique needs of these individual residents was requested. I suggested that the forget-me-not ward might work. It made sense for me on so many levels. You see, based on Christian law, here's how the forget-me-nots came to be. Soon after creation, or so the story goes, God was walking in the Garden of Eden when he spotted a small blue flower. He asked the flower its name, the flower was rather shy, and it could only whisper that it had forgotten its name. Right there and then, God renamed that flower as Forget Me Not. As small as that flower was, God promised that he would not forget it. Forget Me Nots are not very showy or large plants. They grow easily enough from seeds that are harvested and re-sown by eager gardeners each year. The plant requires minimal care if it's growing in moist, sandy soil, and it requires either full sun or even partial shade. When flowering, forget-me-nots flower in abundance. Their five bright blue petals make them unmistakable and very beautiful indeed, despite the fact that each bloom is only about half a fingernail in size. Unlike our steadfast, all-wise, amazing God, who named the forget-me-not, we humans often experience times in life when we blunder, we miss the mark, and we fall into the inevitable failed to remember category. In grade one, remembering where left can be, can be a huge challenge. And teacher may need to intervene and say, no, no, the other side is left. It happens, not only in grade one. Years later, by the time you're learning to drive a car, with hot, sweaty, anxious hands gripping that steering wheel. Your driving instructor might say, turn right at the next robot, followed immediately by words, no, no, your other right. It happens. In higher grades, you might be sitting an exam and you cannot recall all six reasons for global warming. Try as you might. Bite your fist, close your eyes, picture the page. You can only remember four of the six reasons. It happens. As parents, perhaps you've smiled and waved back at the young child swinging on the church gates before you hit the brakes, pull over, and yell for that youngster, your youngest, to get in the back seat before you head home for lunch. 
it happens, perhaps you've experienced rising panic when your car won't start in a now almost empty parking lot before you realize, today I'm driving the automatic and it needs to be in either park or neutral before it'll ever start. It happens. Our Heavenly Father never fails, nor experiences any of these forgetful moments. It never happens. He's a God who never forgets, not even you. He repeatedly gives us this assurance by planting cherished forget-me-nots throughout his word. Through the scriptures, he offers an enormous bouquet of forget-me-not promises. I've selected just three of them. Let's take a closer look. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, the Lord himself declares, I will go before you and I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. In Jeremiah 31 verse 3, the Lord appeared saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. In Isaiah 43 verse 1, the Lord says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. I encourage you to learn these words of affirmation that God speaks through his word. May we plant them in our hearts and remember them. The same God who may have renamed the forget-me-nots assures you he will never forget you. He remembers each one of us, always. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, loving God, thank you for the reassurances of your unfailing love, your care, goodness, and grace. Thank you for your willingness to redeem us and to rename us as yours. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Loveland, for those precious words. At this stage, we would like to honor the learners in our school by handing over their diplomas to them. We would like to request the audience that you must please not applaud for each child individually, but only after the entire class has received their diplomas. So we only clap once, the whole class has received their diplomas. Right now, I'm going to ask the grade ones to stand nicely for us, please. Leanne Banda, is awarded for growth in English home language, Afrikaans first additional language, and mathematics. And she's also getting the principal's award for 100% school attendance. Rakib Bandi. Good conduct, outstanding achievement in English home language, Afrikaans first additional language, and mathematics, and also the principal's award for 100% school attendance. Sino Kubesa, dependability, outstanding achievement in mathematics. Grayson Hamilton, 
Alertness, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Seethle Jonas, Empathy, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Bodhi Leesk, Friendliness, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Politeness, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Zetu Mkunu, Sunny Disposition, Outstanding Achievement in All Learning Areas. Lesedi Motluhelua, it's actually Lesedi Motlo Helwa. Got it right now. Okay. Responsible behavior, outstanding achievement in English home language, Afrikaans first additional language, and mathematics. Rainbow MT. Adaptability. Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Olweto Mtokwane. Sense of Humor, Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. Indalo Mzukwa, Affectionate Nature, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language, and Mathematics. Ayanda Ntingwana, Love of Nature. Meritorious achievement in all learning areas. Ulula Gube. Devotedness. Substantial achievement in Afrikaans first additional language and life skills. Sebastian Piri. Personal Growth, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Fawaz Thebus, Ambition, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Oyintanda Kiandela, Caring Attitude, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Precious Ugbu, Enthusiasm, Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. And Yamile Yengwa, Graciousness, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics.
Grade twos, please stand. Lezuku Blay, Conscientiousness, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language and Life Skills. Chloe Jane Flugel, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Yael Johnson, Social Interaction Growth, Substantial Achievement in Life Skills. Peter Lakay, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language. And he received the Principal's Award for 100% attendance and never late. Kotolelo Mamogobo, Gentleness, Meritorious Achievement in All Learning Areas. Ashlumile Mini, Inquiring Mind, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Mathematics and Life Skills. Eminati Knubi, Outstanding achieve, Efficiency, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language. Mamelo Nohai, Responsiveness, Meritorious Achievement in English Home Language. Isipile Nonkula, Perseverance, Meritorious Achievement in Life Skills, and Principal's Award for Full Attendance. Fundan Toni, Neatness, Meritorious Achievement in English Home Language and Life Skills. Jadine Peterson, Sense of Duty, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Ezra Prince, Aspiration, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language and Mathematics. Principal's Award for 100% Attendance. Tandal to Sitole. Sedulousness, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language and Mathematics. And also Principal's Award for Full Attendance. Grade three, you may stand quietly.
Gemma Brunk, Growing Sense of Responsibility, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language. Joda Dimas, Gentle Heartedness, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language. In Abstentia, Daniel Egbe, Companionability, Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. Skala Ray Galant, Cheerfulness, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics and Life Skills. Joshua Hendricks, Diligence, Outstanding Achievement in All Learning Areas. Bowen Hofster, Friendly Disposition, Meritorious Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language, Mathematics and Life Skills. Dakala Hove, Steadfastness, Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language, Afrikaans First Additional Language, and Mathematics. She also receives the Principal's 100% Attendance Award. Ethan Kleinhans, Well Mannered. Meritorious Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language. Ritu Metsi Kuster. Dedication. Meritorious Achievement in English Home Language and Life Skills. Britta Mahembe. Courtesy, Meritorious Achievement in English Home Language and Mathematics. Bradley Moshe, Politeness, Substantial Achievement in English Home Language, Mathematics and Life Skills. Cassidy Miller, Positive Attitude, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans, First Additional Language. Libo Masungwa, Perseverance, Meritorious Achievement in English Home Language, and Afrikaans First Additional Language. Karabu Pani. Expressiveness. Outstanding Achievement in English Home Language and Mathematics. Kelly Peterson. Mindful to succeed. Outstanding achievement in English home language, Afrikaans first additional language, and mathematics. Simtandile, Keyandile, exceptional artistic talent, meritorious achievement in mathematics. In Abstentia, Kayla Joy Flotman, Sincerity, Outstanding Achievement in Afrikaans First Additional Language. Zaya Zenzile, Competency, Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. Ariana Zygmunt, 
efficiency, meritorious achievement in all learning areas. Just before I invite the grade fours up to get their diplomas, please take note of the following. If you hear the words academic excellence, it indicates that the learner obtained an overall average of 80% or more using the March, June, September and November grades. The highest academic mention that a learner can receive is therefore academic excellence. Learners who don't qualify for academic excellence may however qualify for the category outstanding achievement in. Learners who have received the, an average of 80% or more for that particular subject would qualify. The March, June, September, and November averages are taken into account when determining this. The grade fours may quietly stand. Elsa uh, Bergeron, diligence, courtesy, outstanding achievement in mathematics, natural science and technology, social science and life skills. Cheyenne Calvert, sense of responsibility, thoughtfulness, academic excellence. Connor Combrink, biblical insight initiative, academic excellence, and principal, Principal's Award for full attendance. Kushlike Dondolo, Creativity, Musical Ability, Diligence in Social Science. Micah Fulton, Inquiring Mind, Commitment, and Academic Excellence. Sako Chakavula, eagerness to learn, good sportsmanship, excellent achievement in life skills. Lebone Khanye, marked improvement, sense of humor, and excellent achievement in life skills. Kuliso Mashavat, sorry, Kuliso Mashavataka. Capability, enthusiasm, and diligence in social science and English home language. Liketsu May, creativity, kind-heartedness, good ability in life skills. Paolo Tando Mdaka, sense of commitment, enthusiasm, outstanding achievement in natural science and technology and life skills. Noku Kanya Mgaga, goal oriented, concern for others and academic excellence.
Sander Liesk. Willingness to learn, good sportsmanship, diligence in life skills. Bruce Liesk. Resilience, friendliness, and diligence in social science. Alu Namda Ngaye. Eagerness to learn, willingness to assist, and outstanding achievement in English home language. Uviwe Nguane. Dedication, perseverance, excellent achievement in life skills. Iminati Theo Niesi. Ambition, good sportsmanship, and excellent achievement in English home language. Milani Plum, neat work presentation, politeness, and diligence in English home language. Hannah Poole, sense of commitment, cheerfulness, an outstanding achievement in English home language, social science, and life skills. Lesedi Sakoe, desire to excel, helpfulness, an outstanding achievement in natural science and technology. Haley van der Westeisen. Good comprehension skills, creativity, and excellent achievement in mathematics. Please stand grade fives. Zian Arnoldus, faithful application, personal growth, excellent achievement in home language, Natural Sciences and Technology. Angat Amagu, Sense of Duty, Courtesy, Outstanding Achievement in Natural Sciences and Technology, Life Orientation and Bible Knowledge. Onesimo Diani, Attentiveness, Obedience, excellent achievement in Bible knowledge. Faisan Inos, why general knowledge, perceptiveness, and outstanding achievement in mathematics. Luke Yankees, creativity, good conduct. Diligence in Natural Sciences and Technology and Social Sciences. In absentia, Rosejo Maritlani, Resilience, Optimism, Diligence in Bible Knowledge. Isaiah Mofuking, Originality, Even Temperedness, Diligence in Life Orientation.
Nempo Nala, Diligence, Friendly Disposition, Outstanding Achievement in Natural Sciences and Technology. In absentia, Landile Nowato, Expressiveness, Sense of Humor, Outstanding Achievement in Natural Sciences and Technology, as well as Social Sciences. Christina van Weyck, Eagerness to Learn, Bubbly Personality, Outstanding Achievement in Natural Sciences and Technology. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention, Anga get, also gets the Principal's Award for full attendance. Grade sixes, please stand. Craig Dewa. Inquiring mind, neighborliness, outstanding in achievement in mathematics, natural sciences and technology, and social sciences. Nsika Rodlo. Readiness to assist, soccer enthusiast, diligence in life skills. Rudo Dondolo, keenness to learn, skilled netball player, excellent achievement in Bible knowledge. Letemba Gubesha, diligent application, good conduct, academic excellence. Jaden Jubis, cooperation, courtesy, outstanding achievement in mathematics. Kama Mabusela, capability, sharing attitude, outstanding achievement in mathematics and Bible knowledge. Hakleho Markwe, sense of duty, positive attitude, outstanding achievement in Bible knowledge. Amiyoli Mtoza, diligence, dependability, academic excellence. Michaela Mukahiwa, faithful application, thoughtfulness, outstanding achievement in Bible knowledge and natural sciences and technology. Akamile Peacock, trusted helper, dramatic ability, excellent achievement in Bible knowledge. Kayla Poole, perceptiveness, courtesy, 
Excellent Achievement in Natural Sciences and Technology. Mohao Sakuwe. Sense of Commitment, Positive Spirit of Leadership, Academic Excellence. In absentia, Sivuyi Sechecha, willingness to assist, expressiveness, and excellent achievement in life skills. Andrew van, van Boom, sense of responsibility, respectfulness, and academic excellence. London Williams, cooperation, good conduct, Excellent achievement in Afrikaans first additional language. Emily Zygmunt, sense of purpose, facilitator, and academic excellence. Grade seven. Peyton Oren Sazarf, academic prowess, spiritual awareness, academic excellence. Merit Certificate, Head Prefect. Isabella Barmister. Determination, Dependability, Academic Excellence, Merit Certificate, Head Prefect, Term 3. Andre Kitas, expressiveness, loyal friend, diligence in Afrikaans first additional language. Tatokutle Marake, capability, innovation, excellent achievement in mathematics. Emile Motolwana, musicality, assertiveness, diligence in life orientation. Kutazo Nechivongweni, individualistic thinking, leadership, outstanding achievement in natural science, merit certificate, head prefect. Iminati Njokolwana, conscientiousness, sterling character, outstanding achievement in English home language, mathematics, social sciences, and creative arts, merit certificate, prefect. Mbulelo Pani, Insight, potentiality, excellent achievement in mathematics and life orientation. Nina Tajudin, cooperation, love of nature, 
excellent achievement in creative arts. Yono Bisa Tibini. Perseverance, perceptiveness, diligence in mathematics. Otandwayo Tiandela. Attentiveness, artistry, excellent achievement in creative arts. Warren van Weyck, dedication, caring attitude, diligence in mathematics, service certificate, prefect. In absentia, Caleb Flotman, dramatic ability, sportsmanship, diligence in creative arts, service certificate, prefect. Zoe Zichers, Meticulousness, steadfastness of character, academic excellence, merit certificate, head prefect, term two. At this time, we will announce the top achievers in each class from grade four to seven. The one with the highest mark in each grade will receive a floating trophy. The March, June, September, and November marks have been taken into consideration when determining the single top achiever in each class. Learners who receive a floating trophy this morning will be able to take it home with, with them, but they will need to return it to school on Wednesday, 7 December, 2022, so that the necessary engraving can be done. When your name is read out for either third or second position, I would like you to stand at your seat. The top achiever once announced will be required to come up onto stage to accept their trophy. The top achievers in grade four to seven classes for 2022 are as follows. Grade four, third position is Micah Fulton with 86,1% average. The second position in grade four is goes to Nokukanya Magaga with <laughs> with an average of ninety one comma seven percent. And in first place in grade four is Cheyenne Calvert. <laughs> with a 92,6% average. <laughs> Congratulations to our grade fours. Grade five. Third position in class is Nimpo Nalu. <laughs> with a 75,8%. Second position 
is Anga Kamagu. With a, with a 76,8% average. And in first place in grade five is Christina van Weg. <laughs> with a 77,1% average. Congratulations. In grade six, third position is Andrew van Boom with a percentage of 85,2%. Second position is Emily Zygmunt with a 85,3% average. And in first place in grade six is Mahal Sakori. <laughs> With an average of 87,7%. In our grade seven class, third position is Zoe Zichich with a 81,8% average. <laughs> Second position is Isabella Bomesta with with an 83,9% average. And in first place in grade seven is Peyton Aronson. <laughs> with a 91,7% average. Congratulations to all our top achievers for 2022. This time, I will invite our head prefect to come forward. guardians and learners. The end of the year has finally arrived. It was a tough one, but we thank God for carrying us through it. This year was a roller coaster to say the least. I thought that this year would be my perfect year, the year of my dreams, but it wasn't. I was challenged in every way, and there were times where I felt like giving up. But I got up, dusted myself off, and carried on. Because if there is one thing that we must do, it is to never give up. People may be mean to us, call us names, belittle our achievements, but we should never let them bring down our value. Their own insecurities are not a reflection of your character. 
It is at our lowest points that we need those around us. We need our teachers, our parents, and our friends to support us and to uplift us through those tough times. I would like to take this opportunity to express just how much the teachers have helped. Furthermore, I would like to thank and appreciate Zoe Ziggers and Isabella Bomister, who are our head prefix for term two and three. Your contributions, leadership, and support have helped us to become the leaders that we are today. The teachers are the very reasons that all of us have received a certificate for our hard work. I would like to especially thank Ms. Muniz for making this grade seven year special for us. Thank you for being someone that we could trust and for being someone that we could talk to. I fail to find the words to express my emotions and my gratitude for the opportunity I have received to be the leader of the school. I have grown so much in confidence and in my leadership skills. Thank you to the people and everyone, both learners and teachers, for helping us develop the, these skills throughout the year. I would like to thank Ms. Duplicy, our principal, and all the teachers for being with us, tolerating us, and teaching us lessons both inside and outside of the classroom. Thank you for your patience with us academically, physically, and socially. We have made beautiful memories and the life lessons that we have learned will surely be with us for a long time. We would, like, we would also like to take this time to thank our parents and family members who have supported us throughout this year. Please continue to support us as we go older. We will, we will try our best to make you proud in all that we do. We love you. To all the learners that we leave behind, primary school is the foundation of our lives. So I want to say this, never give up. Stay strong and stay true to your own values. People will try to knock you down and make you feel bad about yourself, but God values you so much that he knows how many hairs we have on our head. Trust in God and he will give you the strength to persevere. Thank, Thank you. you. We are so very thankful to God for his amazing love and watch care over us during this past year. At this time, I would like to acknowledge a few individuals who have assisted the school during the year, each one in their own way. I would like to say a huge word of appreciation to our teachers, office and accounting staff, Mr. Nukwela, Mrs. D. Miss for their dedication and unselfish service during this year. This year cannot be successfully concluded without you. We would also like to thank Mrs. Dahl for her management of the aftercare center and the creative activities she initiates once homework is done. Mrs. Bernadette Cruvier, our information technology teacher has worked very hard to minimize the impact COVID has had on our knowledge network curriculum and to make up for lost time in our various grades, we would like to say a special thank you. Then we have also been very fortunate to have Jacques von Rensburg assist us with our Bible classes on a Monday afternoon. We thank him for his willingness to minister to our learners. Pastor Donovan Greg has been serving as our chaplain, and we would like to extend our thanks to him for all that he has done to assist our learners as well as our staff. Thank you for being there for us. We would also like to thank and salute all the parents and friends of the school who have assisted the school during the 
course of this year in many ways. A special group of people I would like to take the time to thank is our school board members. We appreciate your role as the link between the school and the church that you were representing. Thank you so much for all the time you put into our school. I would also like to extend my thanks to our PTA committee. Thank you to Mr. Sepu Kanya for the intensive research that you did as the chairperson of the PTA during the first half of this year with regard to marketing research and promotion. A word of thanks to Pastor Ezra Souls for your willingness to take over the leadership role during the second half of the year. Mr. Minnie, your willingness to act as secretary is also much appreciated. Another group of people that I would like to acknowledge are our outgoing prefects of 2022. We hope that your serving the school will have empowered you to continue to be of service in your communities. There are many people I would like to publicly thank for your contributions, yet time does not allow for me to mention each one of you. However, know that the giving of your time and expertise is valued, noted, and highly appreciated. And at this time, I want to also say a special appreciation to someone that's not really expecting it. I don't know if you as school are aware of the fact that we've got a school granny. And I'm going to ask Fawaz's granny to please stand for us right where she is. She has a Rakib, sorry, not for wise, it's Rakib's granny. My apologies. I want to tell you about our school granny. She's here very early every morning. And she, well, I very seldom beat her to school. And she looks after each one of our learners so beautifully and keeps them on track and target in the mornings. And I really, really want to say a huge thank you for being who you are and not just being a granny to your own grandchild, but to all our school learners. Thank you so much. It's highly appreciated. this time, I would also like to pause a moment to honor someone who has spent 22 years in Christian education, of which 21 years of excellent service was rendered right here at Halderberg Primary School. I would like to honor Mrs. Loveland at this time. She has served as our grade three teacher, foundation phase head of department, and deputy principal to our school. Her sense of humor, dedication to excellence, and innovativeness will be sorely missed. I would also like to personally thank her for the support and encouragement that she has given me in my newly appointed role as principal over the past year and eight months. It has been much appreciated. We would like to wish you everything of the best as you take a well-deserved rest and then tackle the new challenges and adventures in your life. May this new chapter in your life be filled with God's best blessings, guidance and protection. We would like you to come forward at this time, Mrs. Loveland.
also with deep regret that we have to say goodbye to Mrs. Bernadette Gruvier, who has so ably served at the school in her role as IT teacher over the past three years. She took on the unexpected challenge of enabling our staff to transition from classroom teaching to operating in virtual space. No easy accomplishment during the various lockdown levels. She also had to upgrade our IT skills during this time. Thank you so much for assisting our teachers and learners to grow in our information technology skills. Your willingness to assist wherever you are needed has made a big difference in our school and you will also be very sorely missed. At this time, I'm going to ask you to come to the front for us, please. I also want to say a big word of thanks and appreciation to everyone that attended our program today, in person and online. And most of all, I want to say thank you to for our learners. Without you, we wouldn't be a school. And thank you for making a difference. And I want to say that it's so heartwarming when I get fetched from the office when someone says, Mrs. Duplessy, please come and listen to me read. Or are you watching the soccer match today? It is lovely to be able to participate in all these various and very special occasions. Just before I invite our learners to come forward for our final special item, I'm going to ask the parents to please remain seated once the learners have done their special item and Pastor Donovan has closed in prayer for us. If our parents would please remain seated until our learners have been ushered out of the church building by their uh, teachers. At this stage, I'm going to ask uh, Auntie Lucille, would you just help me that we can just move the table? And then we are going to ask our grade seven learners And then we are going to ask our grade one to seven learners to please stand. And grade sevens, you may lead.
Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for each of these very special learners. Lord, I thank you for each of the staff members, the teachers. Thank you for their positive contributions to the lives of these children. Lord, I thank you for the parents. Lord, I pray in a very special way for these learners as they continue preparing for their future. Pray that you would guide them and help them and bless them in this journey. Lord, as we end off this year soon, Lord, we pray for your presence to be with us, that you would continue guiding us and helping us as we enter the new, new year, God willing. Lord, we just commit ourselves into your keeping now, and thank you for this very special time that we've had this morning. In Jesus' name, amen.